There's a good chance that if you're trying Veganuary, you're going to fail. And it's not because a vegan diet is unrealistic or super difficult, but it's that if you're not used to eating this way, there are very common mistakes that can prevent you from honing in on your nutrition and feeling good throughout your experience. But don't worry, because that is why I'm here. I'm going to teach you the most common mistakes that people make when trying out a plant-based or vegan diet and teach you exactly what you need to do so that your Veganuary isn't just a success through January 31st, but so that you can continue this lifestyle long after if you choose to. Hey guys, my name is Peter. I'm a plant-based nutrition coach from plantbasedteacher.com. And in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to have a successful Veganuary. So whether you wanna stay vegan after this or just eat more plant-based, you know exactly what you need to do. Now to help you get started, I've created a guide on how to make delicious, nutritious plant-based meals in under 30 minutes. This is exactly what I do to cook my meals with my really busy schedule to hone in on my nutrition. So if you're new to this universe, definitely download that guide. The link is in the description. Okay, so the first reason that people maybe fail on Veganuary or they can't stick to a more plant-based diet is that they're eating a lot of vegan junk food. And when we look at studies comparing vegan diets to other diets, a lot of times what we see is that they don't talk about what type of food the people on the vegan diet are eating. But what we notice though, is that when they eat certain types of foods, the health and nutrition outcomes are often better than many other ways of eating. And that is when they're eating a whole food plant-based diet. And so your first tip, for a successful Veganuary is to not think of yourself as eating vegan, but rather eating whole food plant-based. If you're just thinking about eating vegan, you're gonna look at whatever's vegan in the store and pick that up. But that's gonna include a lot of processed crap that is not nutritious and that is not going to make you feel good. Whereas if you're thinking whole food plant-based, you're buying real food. You're buying fruits and vegetables and whole grains and things that like our bodies evolved to eat and not just like the overly processed junk in a bag that says vegan. By doing this, you're gonna improve your nutrition, which means you're gonna feel better throughout the course of this experience. You're going to be giving your body the fuel it needs to perform and to thrive. So don't just say, I'm eating vegan. Say, I'm eating whole food plant-based. Now, because you're doing the vegan thing, it's gonna be 100% whole food plant-based, but at least gets you in that mindset when you're in the grocery store of looking for whole foods rather than just anything that says vegan on the package. All right, your second tip for having a successful Veganuary is to make sure that you are eating enough protein and complex carbohydrates. Now, without getting into like the nitty gritty debates about protein in the vegan community, what I see online is that when people make videos where they try to go vegan or fully plant-based, they're often just eating like salads <laughs> or random vegetables, maybe a few beans, and they complain about how hungry and tired they are, which like Duh, if you're only eating a few hundred calories a day when you need a couple thousand, you're not gonna feel that great. So by focusing meals around plant-based sources of protein and complex carbohydrates, you're pretty much setting the stage to be full and satisfied on this experiment. These two foods are really gonna fuel your body. They're gonna have a lot of fiber, which is gonna make you feel full. They're gonna give you a lot more energy than like just like a salad would. And yeah, those greens are important and you wanna get them for your micronutrients, but they shouldn't be the focus of your meal. So when we're talking plant-based proteins, ask yourself, how can I form a meal around beans, lentils, nuts and seeds, tofu, tempeh, seitan, things that are going to have enough energy to fill you up and to fuel you. In addition, think about complex carbohydrates. Beans are a source of both, proteins and complex carbohydrates. Sweet potatoes are an amazing option. So are baked potatoes. Think about your whole grains like brown rice, quinoa, barley, something along those lines to where, okay, yeah, I have these like seasoned beans that are really good and I got this spiced quinoa next to it. Now I can fill this in with those other vegetables that, 
are very nutritious, but maybe don't have a lot of calories or at least enough to fill me up if I focused my meal around those. So make sure you're focusing your meals around plant-based sources of protein and complex carbohydrates. All right, the third tip you need to have a successful veganuary is to eat a wide variety of foods. This is true of pretty much anyone, however you're eating. Even if you're like 80% whole food plant-based, eat a more omnivorous diet. Having more variety of food, make sure we get a wider variety of nutrients. It keeps it interesting, it keeps it exciting, and you're gonna be more likely to stick to this, not just for the month, but long term. So don't just have like a big potato rice and plain tofu all the time. I mean, that's okay for a bit, but it gets kind of lame. Expand your palate here. This is the time to experiment. Try some whole grains you have never had before, right? Like pick up some millet if you've never tried it. Try some vegetables you're not used to eating or cooking. If cooking an eggplant has intimidated you, buy one, look up a recipe and actually give it a shot. Make sure you're getting a variety of colors. Are you getting your greens? Are you getting things that are red or orange? Are you getting things that are purple? That old like eat the rainbow cliche, right? But it's true. The more variety you have, the more nutrients you get. And when we look at common dietary pitfalls with a 100% whole food plant-based diet, they're really easily avoided just by eating a wide variety of foods. If you eat a wide variety of plant-based proteins, you're gonna get your essential amino acids. You're gonna get enough fiber. You're gonna get your micronutrients. Like all of this plays a role here. So make sure you're not just eating the same things every day, get that wide variety. Okay, the fourth thing you need to look out for if you're going 100% vegan in January is to make sure to get vitamin B12 and marine omega-3s. I've done a couple videos on both of these topics, but basically you want to make sure you're getting both of these nutrients throughout the course of the month. B12 supplements are everywhere. You can also get B12 in fortified foods like plant-based milks or nutritional yeast, also great options. When it comes to omega-3s, you should be getting some from chia seeds and flax seeds, but you also want to make sure you're getting marine omega-3s. So this is something that comes from algae. I prefer the Nordic Naturals brand. You can buy it at Walmart for like 20 bucks. It's an algae pill. It includes marine omega-3s. It gets you what you need. If you want to dive deeper into this, I did a video where I talked more in depth about the importance of omega-3s. So you can check that out. But if you're eating a wide variety of foods, these are really the two nutrients that you just want to make sure you're getting in supplement form and more than likely you'll be fine. All right, my last tip for having a successful veganuary is to find ways to make this fit into your lifestyle. Guys, if all we needed was recipes to eat healthy, everyone would be eating healthy all the time. But we don't need recipes. We have plenty of those. We need lifestyle intervention. We need a plan that fits with what we're actually doing. So if you're trying this out and you found a killer recipe and it takes an hour to make, you wanna make sure you actually have the time to make that if you have a busy schedule. So you gotta to think to yourself, like, when do you need to meal prep and have stuff for a couple of days so that you can actually eat healthy through those busy times? When do you have a free evening or a free day to cook those bulk meals or to make something more involved? Are you going out to eat with friends? Are you having people come over? All of that plays into having a successful month on a vegan diet. You really need to plan ahead here. So think about when you have the time to cook, when you just gotta have some utility meals where my free guide will help you out a lot with that. And if you're going out to eat, just do a little research before about where you're going, or if you're having friends over, what can you make that is vegan and that they will enjoy as well, some good party food. There's a million recipes out there, guys. It's easy to find, but what's more difficult is planning ahead to make sure this works. And that is the main reason I created my Plant-Based Success Academy. This is the best damn plant-based nutrition course on the internet, hands down. It teaches you not only everything you need to know about having a nutritious diet with plant-based foods and how to get that physique you want, whether it's building muscle or losing weight, but more importantly, it teaches you exactly how to make this a long-term sustainable lifestyle. So if you try this in January and you're digging it, this will teach you exactly how to make this last for February and March and 2024 and 2025 so you can crush your life on a whole food plant-based lifestyle for years 
to come. So if you're interested in learning more about the Plant-Based Success Academy, I'll leave a link to that in the description, but it gives you tons of assignments on how to actually plan this out in your everyday life. All right, guys, there you have it. My five tips for having a successful Veganuary, if you are new to this. First, tell yourself you're eating whole food, plant-based, not vegan. Second, form your meals around plant-based proteins and complex carbohydrates. Third, make sure you're eating a wide variety of foods. Fourth, make sure you're getting B12 and marine omega-3s. And fifth, make sure you're putting together a meal plan that aligns with your lifestyle. Guys, if you do these five things, you're gonna feel so great. It's gonna involve some tinkering, but hopefully over these next few weeks, you get to experience the benefits of a whole food plant-based lifestyle. And like I, like I said, if you really wanna take this to the next level, check out the Plant-Based Success Academy. I'll link to that in the description. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you wanna learn more on how to thrive on a plant-based lifestyle in 2024 and beyond, I really appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your time and attention, and I'll see you in the next video.